Business intelligence doesn't seem like a tech term that requires much introduction. It doesn't even sound all that techy. We know what a business is and we know what intelligence is. Put them together and what you have got? A smart business? Yeah, that's pretty close. Not that far off actually. The challenge with understanding BI is that the term tends towards the abstract. That's really what it boils down to though. Helping people and organizations to make smarter decisions based on all the relevant information available. In today's fast-paced world, business must constantly make decisions that will make a positive impact. But how do they make these decisions? How do they know what's working and what's not? Well, we are going to explain that for you with this session on what is business intelligence and how it makes the decision making process more efficient. But before we begin with the session, I'd like to request you guys to enable that subscribe button and bell icon so that you never miss any update from IntelliPath YouTube team. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about plan for this session. So we'll begin this session by discussing what term business intelligence stands for. Then we'll discuss about how business intelligence works, how it differs from business analytics and then we shall cover top 5 BI tools. Finally, we shall ponder upon the place of BI in today's business environment towards the end of this session. I hope all of you guys are clear with the agenda. So moving forward, let's talk about what business intelligence is all about. To better understand how business intelligence works, let's look at one real life scenario. Imagine you run a retail store that sells clothing and accessories. You notice that sales have been declining over the past few months and you are not sure why. To gather more information, you start using a business intelligence tool to analyze your sales data. You look at the data broken down by product categories, geographic regions and customer demographics. After reviewing the data, you notice that sales of women's shoe have been declining significantly while sales of men's accessories have been increasing. Using this information, you can decide to focus on promoting men's accessories and adjust your inventory to better cater to this demographic. You also decide to offer a discount on women's shoe to try and boost sales in that category. Over the time, you can continue to use this business intelligence tool to monitor sales trends and adjust your strategy accordingly. From this example alone, you could understand how effective your business moves will be if they are backed by BI tools. Basically, BI or business intelligence allows you to make data-driven decisions that help in improving your bottom line and keep your business competitive. In the example, we discussed business intelligence helps the retail store owner make sense of complex data and gain valuable insights into customer behavior. By using a business intelligence tool, the owner was able to make informed decisions that positively impacted their business. This is just one example of how business intelligence can be applied in the real-time world. It's a powerful tool that can help businesses of all sizes and industries gain a competitive edge by leveraging data to make smarter decisions. Now let me formalize the definition for business intelligence based on the example we just talked about. So guys, basically business intelligence refer to the process of gathering, analyzing and interpreting data to make better business decisions. This involves using various technologies, tools and methodologies to collect and analyze data from different sources such as customer feedback, sales trends and industry research and then presenting this information in a way that is easy to understand and use. BI can be used in many different areas of a business such as sales, marketing, finance and operations. For example, in sales, BI can be used to analyze customer buying behavior and identify cross-selling and upselling opportunities. In marketing, BI can be used to track campaign performance and measure return on investment. In finance, BI can be used to analyze financial performance and identify areas where cost saving can be made. In operations, BI can be used to optimize processes and improve efficiency. Overall, business intelligence is a powerful tool 
that can help businesses make informed decisions, improve performance and gain competitive edge. By using data and analytics, businesses can identify new opportunities, reduce cost and improve the customer experience. Moving forward, we shall talk about how business intelligence works. Generally speaking, business intelligence is a process of driving quantitative business decisions. So definitely there is going to be a standard process with multiple layers, right? Next, we are going to uncover those layers or steps of the process one by one. Now the first step in the BI process is data collection. Data can be collected from a variety of sources such as customer feedback, sales reports and website analytics. In order for data to be useful, it needs to be relevant, accurate and timely. This means that businesses need to ensure that they are collecting the right data from the right sources and that the data is up to date and accurate. Then comes the second step that is data processing. Once data has been collected, it needs to be processed and organized in a way that's easy to understand and analyze. This involves cleaning and transforming the data so that it's in a format that can be used by BI tools. For example, data might need to be consolidated, restructured or filtered in order to remove any errors or duplicate records. Now the step 3 that we have is data exploration. This step involves using BI tools to explore and visualize the data in order to gain insights into business performance. There are several types of analysis that can be performed in the data exploration phase. The first type is descriptive analysis, then we have diagnostic analysis and predictive analysis. So basically descriptive analysis provides an overview of past performance and trends. This can help businesses understand where they have been and provides a baseline for future decision making. Now, the diagnostic analysis helps to identify the root causes of a problem. For example, if sales are declining, BI tools can help identify the products or regions that are driving the decline. Then comes the predictive analysis which uses statistical models to forecast future trends and performance. By analyzing patterns in historical data, businesses can make Predictions about future sales or customer behavior using this predictive analysis methodology. Now after these analysis or exploratory methodologies comes the step of data visualization. Data visualization is a critical component of BI as it allows businesses to communicate complex data in a way that's easy to understand. Visualization tools such as dashboards and reports can be used to display data in a variety of formats such as charts, graphs and maps. This makes it easier for decision makers to identify patterns and trends and to make informed decisions based on the given visualizations. Now the next step or the final step of our business intelligence process is actionable insight. The final step in BI process is to use the insights gained from the data exploration and visualization to make informed decisions and take action. BI tools can provide recommendations for action based on the insights gained from the data. For example, if customer feedback indicates that a product is not meeting expectations, BI tools can suggest improvements to the product based on customer feedback. Now, I hope the process of business intelligence is clear to you. Moving forward, we shall discuss how BI differs from business analytics because most often both these positions are considered synonymous but actually there is that thin difference between both of these roles. While business intelligence and business analytics are related concepts that deal with data analysis, there are some key differences between the two. In general, BI focuses on descriptive analysis while business analyst focuses on predictive and prescriptive analysis. As per our discussion earlier, descriptive analysis is more of a process of analyzing historical data to understand past performance and trends. BI tools are used to gather, analyze and report on data from a variety of sources such as sales reports, customer feedback and website analytics. The goal of BI is to provide decision makers with accurate and timely information so that 
they can make informed decision based on the past performance to put it more intuitively bi tools are typically used to answer questions like what were our sales figure last quarter how many customers did we have last year what was our customer satisfaction rating last month whereas business analytics on the other hand focuses on predictive and prescriptive analysis predictive analytics involves using statistical models to analyze historical data and make predictions about future performance prescriptive analysis on the other hand uses machine learning algorithms to identify the best course of action to take based on the insights gained from predictive analysis BA tools are typically used to answer questions like what will our sales figure look like next quarter which product are most likely to be popular with our customer next year what action should we take to improve our customer satisfaction etc now business analyst tools are more often complex than business intelligence tools and they do require advanced statistical knowledge to use effectively basically the business analyst position focuses more on predictions and forecasting whereas intelligence is more inclined towards learning what happened in the past and how we can make sense out of it to better the current business scenario let me quickly list some of the top business intelligence tool Business intelligence tools have become an essential part of modern businesses helping companies to analyze data and gain insights that can inform decision making there are many bi tools available in the market each with its own unique features and capabilities however we have managed to list the top 5 out there the first one on our list is tableau tableau is one of the most popular bi tools available today known for its intuitive visualizations and easy to use interface with tableau users can easily connect to a wide range of data sources and create interactive dashboards that allow for easy exploration and analysis of data tableau's drag and drop interface makes it easy for non technical users to create compelling visualizations while its powerful data engine and advanced analytics capabilities make it a favorite among data scientist and analyst now next tool we have is microsoft power bi microsoft power bi is another popular bi tool that is well suited to businesses of all sizes with power bi users can easily create interactive dashboards and reports that can provide real time insights into business operations Power BI is also tightly integrated with other Microsoft tools such as Excel and Azure making it easy to connect to a wide range of data sources and automate the workflows. Now the third application that ranks on our list is ClickView. ClickView is a powerful BI tool that is known for its advanced data visualization capabilities. With ClickView, users can create interactive dashboards and reports that allow for easy exploration and analysis of data. ClickView's associative data model also allows users to easily navigate complex data relationships, making it an ideal tool for large and complex data sets. Now the fourth tool we have is SAP Business Objects. SAP Business Objects is a comprehensive BI tool that offers a wide range of features and capabilities with business objects. Users can create interactive dashboards, reports and ad hoc queries that provide real-time insights into business operations. Business objects also include advanced analytical capabilities such as predictive modeling and data mining. making it a favorite among data scientist and analyst now the fifth and final tool on our list is domo domo is a cloud based bi tool that is known for its ease of use and powerful features with domo users can easily connect to a wide range of data sources and create interactive dashboards that provide real time insights into business operations Domo also includes advanced collaboration features such as real time chat and collaboration tools making it ideal for teams that need to work together on data analysis and reporting on that note we have come towards the conclusive final pointer of our agenda that is where bi stands in today's business environment in current times data has become an essential commodity 
companies that are able to effectively collect analyze and interpret data have a distinct advantage over their competitors this is where business intelligence steps in bi has become a crucial tool for businesses looking to gain insights into their operations and make data driven decisions one of the key benefits of bi is that it allows businesses to quickly identify areas for improvement by analyzing data from a variety of sources such as sales reports customer feedback and website analytics businesses can gain a comprehensive understanding of their operations this can help them identify inefficiencies spot trends and optimize processes for example a company may use bi to analyze its website traffic and identify which pages are most popular This can help the company optimize its website to improve the user experience and increase its engagement. BI also allows businesses to make data-driven decisions by providing decision makers with accurate and timely information. BI tools can help ensure that decisions are based on facts rather than intuition or guesswork. This can help businesses avoid costly mistakes and make more informed decisions. For example, A company may use BI to analyze sales data and identify which products are most popular. This can help the company make decisions about which product to promote and which to discontinue. In addition, BI has become increasingly important for businesses looking to gain a competitive advantage. With the rise of big data and advanced analytics, businesses that are able to effectively harness their data have a distinct advantage over their competitors. By using BI tools to analyze data from a variety of sources, businesses can gain a comprehensive understanding of their customers, market trends and competition. This can help them identify opportunities for growth and gain a competitive edge. Finally, BI has become an essential for businesses looking to stay agile and adapt to changing market conditions. In today's fast-paced business environment, companies need to be able to quickly respond to changes in customer behavior, market trends and competition. BI tools can help businesses stay on top of these changes by providing real-time insights into their operations. This can help businesses make quick decisions and adapt to changing circumstances. In conclusion, business intelligence has become an essential tool for businesses looking to gain insights into their operation, make data-driven decisions and gain a competitive advantage to stay agile in rapidly changing business environment. As data continues to play an increasingly important role in business, BI will only become more crucial for companies looking to succeed in today's market. That's all we had for the session today. I hope this session was informative for all of you guys out there. Thanks for being here till the end of this video. If you have liked this video, do make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our IntelliPath YouTube channel. Goodbye till the next time. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides Power BI online certification training in partnership with Microsoft, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below.